When Rachel and I called her to announce that our boy, then 11, uh, was clinically diagnosed, and then we sent off the blood test, and two weeks later got the genetic confirmation. So that started a lot of wheel spinning, and um, we went to our old computer and asked about free ataxia and got some very bad news. Um, you know, was, um, we knew our boy was going to get very sick very fast, and um, that there was no approved treatment, and precious little science that we could find out about going on and uh, no clinical trials ongoing at that point. Um, the one piece of good news we saw was that you guys had just announced uh, identification of a gene. And, you know, in our naive state, we said, wow, That's um, yeah. you know, <laughs> if, if we now know the underlying cause of the disease, if just we could... Sense. Established. We also saw online that there was no no foundation that we knew of that was completely devoted to supporting FA research. So we said, here we are living in the nation's capital, and we both work for the U.S. Congress, and we live 30 minutes from the NIH and 45 minutes from the FDA. Maybe if we were to establish a foundation that could raise awareness and uh, sufficient funds to establish, you know, uh, support for FA research, maybe we could make a difference, and maybe it wouldn't. Hmm, maybe it wouldn't take forever. 